Hey everyone, Michael Bolton here. Happy Easter to you. Happy Resurrection Sunday. Hope you've had a wonderful day and that you've had time to just hang out with your family and get some cherished memories in, whether that's hunting down Easter eggs or just playing board games and talking. I don't know what you guys do. Uh, whatever it may be, I hope you've had an amazing time uh, just spending time with your loved ones. So with that, I am posting this video today because I am coming to you to ask for your help. You may have noticed that I've been posting a lot on my Facebook page about an organization called I Will Stand International. Uh, it's an organization that my friends Andrea and Sean Williams founded in 2012 after Andrea's first trip to Rwanda. Um, it's an organization that deals with uh, bringing women and children out of abusive type situations, relationships, and putting them into a safe environment. And that's not only here in America, in our own backyard, but also in Rwanda, uh, in a home called Agape Home. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to post a link to their website down um, below so that you have a chance to take a look more into what it is that they do and that what's gonna explain it. Uh, if you know me at all, uh, you know that the martial arts um, is a passion of mine. I've been training for a long time and it's just something that I really love to do. And so whenever uh, Andrea came to me um, a while back and we kind of went back and forth and, and just talking here and there and, and that, um, there was kind of a plan um, or an idea that I could possibly start coming together uh, with them to do something uh, with that. Well, one of the ways is women's self-defense classes. We're actually going to be doing uh, the first women's self-defense class here very, very soon. And we'll be doing those throughout the year, not just, uh, not just this one, uh, but throughout the year and as need has them. So that's something, that's one way that I'm going to be partnering. Um, their actual, their vision for I Will Stand International is to rescue, restore, equip, and empower vulnerable women and children around the world. And so that's, that's the way that I'm going to be able to give back. That's one of the ways that I'm going to be able to um, help I Will Stand International and help um, not just here, but hopefully everywhere. <laughs> and the second way is I've actually been given the chance to go to Rwanda with I Will Stand International coming this May. It is not only uh, a chance for me to go over and uh, teach martial arts and, and self-defense and things like that, but uh, the mission statement of I Will Stand International kind of goes right along with my own personal beliefs. And that mission statement is to see the broken and oppressed and oppressed in the world restored to fullness and able to reach out and affect the lives of others in a positive way. If you know me at all, you know that one of the greatest things that I love to do is being able to look somebody in the eye and tell them that whatever lie it is that they've been believing for so long, that's not what their Father in Heaven believes about them. It's not what their Father in Heaven truly thinks about them, and that it sure isn't what Jesus thinks about them, and that He doesn't want to leave them there. And so for them to see the broken and oppressed and to restore them to fullness, of course, that can only happen through Christ. But I believe that Christ told us to go and do that. And so um, that is an opportunity that I'm going to also be given while being in Rwanda. One of my favorite things is just ministering to people, not just preaching, but ministering, hanging out with them. And ministry isn't about do this, do that, but ministry is about getting to know somebody and letting them know that they're worth it. <laughs> letting them know that they're not a waste of time. Letting them know that there's better in store for them. That can come through uh, talking, hugging, hanging out, eating a lunch, um, all the way down to 
um, healing to absolutely ministering to prophesying any of those things um, over people and so that is something that I'm absolutely believing I'm going to be able to do while in Rwanda this is where I come and I ask you for your help uh, the trip is going to cost right at $3,200 and I've been able to raise um, a, a third of that so <laughs> what I'm looking at is um, roughly a thousand or <laughs> Uh, $2,100 roughly uh, for the rest of the trip and so I've started a GoFundMe page um, and I'm coming to everybody asking that you would partner with me uh, in one of two ways one of course um, first and foremost is prayer I would ask that even now starting tonight starting right now just as the Lord leads you to that you would start praying for me, um, that God would deliver divine encounters, that the team and myself would be safe, um, and that we would really just, the things that we're going there to accomplish, that those things would be accomplished uh, even now, before we even get over there. Because we know that God is the Alpha and the Omega, and that anything that he starts, he finishes. And so I'm believing, and I would ask that it's already done. We just have to get there and do it. So be in prayer for um, I Will Stand International, the team members that are going, and myself. Uh, that would be a tremendous help, and I would truly appreciate it. And two, of course, is financially, that you would partner uh, alongside me financially uh, and help me get to Rwanda. It is, um, again, in no way, shape, or form, um, you pray about it. If it's something that God leads you to do, then fantastic. I truly, truly appreciate it. If it's not, okay, no worries. Thank you so much for praying for me. Um, so yeah, there is what I needed to ask you for. <laughs> uh, ask for help uh, and a partnership. So if you would, just prayerfully con uh, consider it. And there you have it. Uh, I'll put the GoFundMe page at the bottom as well, and we will go from there. Thanks, everybody. God bless, and thanks again.